Okay, so it's recording. They will know everything about me. Okay. okay. I feel uncomfortable though because I'm using someone else's computer. Everything's gonna be all weird. Yeah. You better feel uncomfortable. Okay. All right. Let's go. Okay. Hi, Caitlin. My name is Leanne, and I'm going to be walking through you through this session today. Um. Let me go over what's going to happen. We're going to ask people to try using a website that we're working on so we can see whether it works as intended. So we're testing the site and not you. So you can't do anything wrong here. Um, oh, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, keep going. Um, if you have any questions, ask them. With your permission, we're going to record what happens on the screen and our conversation. And I'm going to ask you to sign a simple permission form, blah, blah, blah. Okie dokie. Um, any questions? Okay, so first of all, what's your occupation and what do you do all day? Uh, I'm a student, so I go to classes and do homework. Okay. How many, roughly, how many hours a week do you, would you say that you spend using the internet? Oh. Including, I guess, phone time incredibly depressing amount. <laughs> um, Me too. I'm going to average and say like, god, probably like six plus a hours a day. Alright. What's the split between email and just browsing the web? Um, probably like 95.5. Five. I mean, I just like check my email and then delete stuff. I don't spend a lot of time on there. What kind of sites are you looking at when you browse the web? <laughs> <laughs> um, like, YouTube, Netflix. I said it properly. Don't make fun of me. Netflix. Okay. Um, occasionally I go on the Facebooks. The Facebooks. Alright. So now we can start looking at the website. Um, okay. Here, let me open it. So, I'm going to ask you to look at this page and tell me what you make of it, what strikes you about it, whose site you think it is, what you can do here, and what it's for. And you can scroll around, but just don't click on anything yet. Okay. I mean, it's for the Vermont Country Store, which appears to be some kind of both, like, clothing and home goods store. Okay. Also, it's, like, food. Mm -hmm. um, also, throughout this whole thing, like, be sure to, like think out loud, so like every little thing that you know yeah. is like, oh, this sucks, like. Um, I mean, this part's ugly as all hell, but that's not really, <laughs> it's not like a functionality thing, I just think the colors <laughs> are part? ugly. The green? Just all of this. How about, they're not good colors, it's, it's bad font, it's like poorly sized, there's, there's just too much, get rid of it. It's clashing. It's cluttered. Cluttered, okay. It should all be in, like, tiny print at the bottom, because I don't care about any of this. Alright, so I'm going to ask you to do some very specific tasks. Okay, a chat assistant just popped up. Can I ignore that? Yes. Um, so the first task is you have to find the uh, customer bill of rights. Customer bill of rights? <laughs> um, Alright. So you're clicking on customer service. Yeah. Um. Contact us live help track your order transaction. One hundred percent guaranteed. Customer bill of rights found it. Ooh, go me. Yay! That was pretty fast. I'm I'm very adept at website navigation. I can tell. Um. <laughs> okay. Next question is can you find their information about their return policy? Uh, yeah, I can. Let's find that. How do I... Are you trying to... Ah, your computer works. I just wanted to go back. I'm pretty sure I already saw return <laughs> policy. Oh, returns and exchanges. It was right there. Good job, Caitlin. Um, yes, I can find them in this <laughs> section. <laughs> All right, and the very last task is... Why don't your controls do anything? I can't tell Sorry. you, dude. I'm used to Mac buttons. 
Can you find the different locations for the stores? Yes. It's right in the About Us section. Where is where are the different stores? Weston and Rockingham. Oh. Alright, that's it. Okay. Thank you for your time, Caitlin Clark. <laughs> Here is your monetary compensation. I don't like this whole fake money thing. I want real money. Oh wait, actually, no, one more question. All so, right. ha- okay, so what do you think of the website in general? Like, what could be improved? What was your general like user experience? You um, went through. So, <coughs> this whole thing. Why have two? Especially given that they repeat themselves. Um, I don't like that. They repeat themselves? Well, no, it's just like it has the, the upper categories, women, men, kitchen, home, and then the lower categories, and half of these are subsets of those. Like, oh. they shouldn't be, mm. a, there shouldn't be two bars there. Mm-hmm. Um, I like that the search is at the top, the logo is kind of crappy quality, which makes me think that it's a local store and not, like, a national chain. Uh, I like the pretty f- pictures. Um, yeah, maybe put the sales section up higher if you want people to actually buy from it. Yeah, that's all I have to say. That's it? In the ugly footer? Uh, yeah, in the the footer's ugly. Some web design issues. There's also just a lot of photos. Like, that's, that's a big homepage. Yeah, I think they were trying to go for, like, the catalog look, like... You know, when you're looking at a catalog, it's like... Yeah, I think... But it's, like, kind of too big, you know? If I were looking for something in particular, I wouldn't bother scrolling down. I would just go... I would just click on, like, whatever link I want. But if I was just, like, on the website and decided to scroll down, I'd be like, alright, there's lots of pretty pictures, that's fun. Mm-hmm. 